This tutorial is based around creating a cabinet design and then once you've created the basic cabinet it's then going to show some ways that you could explore customising this for your own personal ideas. It's based around the Ivar design that you could get from Ikea at the moment so it might be of interest to go onto Google and search some of the Ikea hacks for the Ivar cabinet and the other access the accessories that are available for it as well. So we're going to go ahead and select the front work plane and sketch it as if we're looking at it from the front. So in the cube on the top right corner I've clicked on front to square up the view as well. I'm going to start my sketch with a rectangle and drag that out. And at the moment when I create dimensions they're going to be in inches. So when I want to put it into millimetres I have to put mm at the end. So we're going to make it 1000 millimetres tall which is just a metre tall and width is going to be 1200 millimeters okay so now if we zoom out it's quite large which is absolutely fine so ignore the fact that the planes are small they still work in exactly the same way I'm happy with that so I'm going to click tick on my sketch change it back to a 3d view using my right click mouse button and then I'm going to just change the normal dimensions now to millimeters so I have to then well, I don't have to, sorry, put millimetres after every time I put in a dimension. So I'm going to click on the three lines at the top of the screen, workspace units, and change that to millimetres and click in the green tick. We're now going to extrude our sketch. So click on the sketch tool, click on the shape that you want to extrude, and we're going to bring that forward um, 400 millimetres. Okay, so we've got the basic shape of our cabinet. I'm going to click tick. I'm happy with that. The cabinet, though, doesn't have a front like this. It has doors, so we're going to have to remove this front, shell it out so it looks like it's made from timber, and then put the doors back on. And after that, we can then look to customise it. So we're going to use the shell feature at the top. Select shell, and then we're going to go faces to remove is this front. And the thickness of the shell is going to be 15 millimetres, which is roughly the thickness of the timber used. And we can click the green tick. So now we have our cabinet started really well. The cabinet has three shelves in, but they can move up and down, so let's put those in um, at a later point as separate parts that we're actually able to move. So we might even just put different brackets in there, so we can adjust it on here as you would in real life. Let's focus on the doors for now. So the doors, if we zoom in, scrolling with our middle mouse button, we can click on this front surface, and it'll go orange once you've selected it. That's where we want to start drawing our doors. We're going to draw one at a time just to get it right. Okay, so we've selected that front surface, we're going to start a sketch and we're going to look at it square on from the front again, knowing that we're, we're drawing on that surface. So starting with a rectangle from the bottom left. When you hover over that corner it should snap, so there should be an orange circle and an orange square appear, which means it's attached to that corner. We're then going to draw right up to the top until the line goes orange again, so we know we're snapping to it and we click down to put that down. We're then going to dimension the width of this 600. What you can also do is when you're drawing it out often halfway along it will snap to it as well so you might have had that in which case you don't need the dimension. Mine didn't snap, I didn't wait for that so I've put the dimension in. Click tick, make it a 3D view again and I'm just going to scroll and get that nicely in the center. Okay, extrude. And now this is important if I click when I'm extruding for the face here, you see it's not including all of the edge, so I don't want that one. I'm going to select sketch from my feature list, and you can see now that that rectangle is slightly bigger because it's taken the whole rectangle that I drew. So sketch 2 is what I'm selecting. I then want it to be 15 millimeters thick, and making sure the arrow is coming outwards. If I flip the arrow going inwards, it's going back into the cabinet, and I need it on the outside. Where it says new, add, remove and intersect along the top, new, it would create a new part, so the door is separate to the cabinet. If I left it as add, it would add it to the cabinet and it's like you've glued it on. We don't want that, we want it to hinge. Okay, so we've finished that now, 15, we've made sure it's new, it's solid, everything else is fine, we can tick. And we've got our separate door. The door has a little ridge on it so that you can open it. So what we're going to do is zoom right into the corner, click on that top face of it and create a new sketch. We look at it from the top square on and zoom back into this edge. And we're just going to create that shape in here that allows you to open it quite easily. So if we draw a circle, probably a little bit large, so let's add some dimensions to this. We just want that to be 10 millimetres. Okay. We're going to dimension the middle to the edge 
and that's going to be say 10 millimeters as well that might be a bit far in so let's change that to five there we go so it's just coming back in there we could even take that less let's go to three so we're overlapping then we're going to add our straight lines from the top of this out to the edge and then select the line tool again from the bottom of this to the edge okay so that looks done to me i'm going to use the trim tool just to cut out part of this circle in fact that doesn't look like it's going to let me just cut part of it out so in fact i'll just leave it like that for now because the rest of this will work anyway it's not a problem i'll connect these two and then if i click on my tick i've got that whole shape which is fine when we extrude we're just going to select the bits that we want to extrude on that drawing okay so they're selected that outside bit doesn't matter because it's not overlapping and we can then rotate to a 3d view we don't want to add them on top we want them to go all the way through this piece to create like a finger groove. So we're actually going to change that now. Instead of being blind 25, it's going to be through all. Okay, and you can see it's going up, so we need the arrow going the opposite way. And then along the top, we want to remove it, so we're cutting that chunk away. And we click tick. And if we zoom in, we've still got some sharp edges here that we don't want. So we're going to sort them out as well. We're going to use the fillet tool on these edges and the back ones as well okay we're going to have to turn that down now let's just go a millimeter at a time until we get something we're happy with so one leaves a little gap two is about right it's cutting it away maybe a little bit too much so let's go at 1.5 and we're happy with that that's a nice round there and we can click to finish that so if we zoom out now you can see our door has got them openings to make it a little bit easier for us what we're going to do is mirror this so that we have two doors and we actually only have ever, have ever created the one so it makes it a lot easier to do but to do that we need to create a new work plane in the center so the work plane that this will be in line with is the right hand work plane so if we click on the right work plane from our menu click on plane and you can see it's creating a new one in this direction which is perfect and we need it half of the distance across the distance was 1200 wide so if we make that 600 it's putting that into the center and we click tick we're then going to use the mirror feature so that's this one up here at the top here so we're going to click mirror and it automatically tries to mirror parts which we're, we're good with because we want the whole door to be mirrored so we're going to select part two which is our door and our mirror plane is that one that we've just created plane one here and you'll see it flips your door and puts it exactly where you want it to be and we'll click the green tick that means our cabinet is now created although you'll notice the mistake that was in no way at all on purpose it's merged everything together and that's just because I didn't change my mirror to new so if I right click and edit I can go back into that and it's got add selected at the top so that's merging everything together which is wrong we want it to say new and it'll create a third part which is our next door and we click tick so you can see now that we've got a whole door created or whole doors created onto our cabinet and that's the start of our cabinet design challenge good luck